Yo, Sock Passe, man. This is DJ Hook here, man. I'm on allhiphop.com. And you know they got all the news immediately. They're exclusive, just like me. You know what I'm saying? Allhiphop.com. DJ Who Kid. Let's go. Where it's your man, Slap Shot you. I'm here with allhiphop.com, man. And I got the big zone song. <laughs> I see the train. Mr. GGG unit. All mix safes to new. Mr. DJ Who Kid. Who Kid. How you doing, man? What's up, man? What's going on? What's going on, man? I haven't done an interview in like years. I don't even do interviews, to be honest. Yeah. Cause I do interviews every week, so I really don't like people interviewing me. But it's all hip hop. I'm good. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. All right, then. So we're here for Hamilton Parkway, man. We're here for the troops, man. What puts you out? What brings you out here today? Well, I, I, I've done a lot of things for the troops before. Whether it's Iraq, uh, I've been to like bases all over, like Italy, Europe, um, like Japan. I've done like stuff for the troops many times. But when Percy hit me, I was like, yeah, I'll be there, no problem, because. Uh, I feel like they need that respect. They need that, you know, uh, you know, somebody just like shake their hands and be like, yo, thank you for making us live like this. Like, you know, without them, we wouldn't be like, like I wouldn't even be able to even have this. I'd be somewhere with a nuclear missile hitting my shit. I got you. All right, man. So um, what are, what are you plans to do today? You going to shake a couple of hands with the um thing with the troops and stuff like that for yeah, something? Uh, I'm going to hang with, you know, I'm going to shake, you know, uh, I think one general already know. I've been here before. Uh, I think I did here with uh, um, with Jadakus uh, and uh, a couple other guys a long time ago. I don't remember which rapper, but I think it was Jadakus. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, some of the troops I already know here, so I'm cool. Got you, got you. All right, man. So on a personal, what's been good with you, man? How, um, how you been? Oh, I'm chilling, man. Uh, I, I I just got uh, inherited by Def Jam, so I, I'm gonna be looking over a lot of new artists this year. Uh, all the new young kids fuck with me anyway, so uh, for some reason I DJ all the festivals at my age, I still do, uh, whether it's Rolling Loud or Ultra or, you know, whether I hang with EDM guys or hip hop guys, backpack guys. I even did, I think, oh, I did the Vans Warp Tour too, so once you see that you survived every tour and 50 Cent, I think I have an ear for music. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good. All right, yo, so um, thing, so who's some of the younger cats at Def Jam, man? Put all hip-hop on so we know, so we in tune. Well, we, I mean, we literally just started three days ago. So we're looking, and we found we found one girl, but we're still looking for a young chick um, that's bad as hell. I mean, if she's a little ugly, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if she's, a lyric, if she's lyrically inclined, she can rap. Me and Snoop Dogg, we want you, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to, like revamp the whole Dev Jam look. Uh, respect to everybody there. We're going to revamp them too. Um, but other than that, we, you know, Dev Jam is known for finding new artists, and we, we want to bring that back. You know, all that recycling they've been doing every year, same artists over and over. And meanwhile, all the other labels are signing new young kids and making millions. Now me and Snoop is going to switch that shit up. So now we're just looking for new guys. They're ready to take risks. And uh, even though we got to put our own money, we ain't waiting, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing this year. I got you. So all right, so in that building, um, it's been, you know, we like you said, we get a lot of the legacy acts. How the lot of the how the legacy acts feeling about you guys revamping and Uncle Snoop being ahead. I mean, I'm figuring it's kinda like when Hove first was like president and stuff like that. Is it something like that? Yeah, um welcome they're all welcoming us. Uh they like the fact that um it's gonna be a, a new look coming out of COVID. Um, you know, the COVID shit put a damper on a lot of people's projects. But as long as it's something new and it's new energy, they're with it. Because at the end of the day, they're solidified. They're, they're secure. So, uh, and they want to be, you know, connected with new, fresh looks. So, um, yeah, everything is welcoming. All week, we've been having classic dudes from L, Cool J, to EPMD. So, I mean, every rapper, on, every Dev Jam artist came through the studio this week. Uh, shout out to Benny the Butcher. We knocked on another record. Shout out to Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk hit us up. So, I mean, that, that, it can't get any better than that. That's, like, so random, but I like the fact that the young kids are aware. I mean, Snoop is a legend, and he has an ear for music, and he's been around. Like, he's, like, globally, like, respected. respected. I've done every mixtape for every artist on the planet. So I think me and him combining with our history, it should be a cool look. Got you. Okay, then, man. Yo, so, okay, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you for letting us know an update on what's going on at Def Jam, man. And best of luck and most success to you, man. Hope we get some young talent, man. Uh, 
Overlay, Overlay got some young bitches out here. <laughs>